Today's video is sponsored by our very own Spring Store, but more about that later. Hi everybody, in today's dive brief, I'm gonna be looking at masks because I was doing a few videos the other day and I was talking about the glass lenses and there are quite a few choices out there and it's not immediately obvious why one particular glass lens is better than the other or does something different to the other. So I thought I'd compile it into a dive briefing, looking at all sorts of different lenses that are available to scuba divers and what benefits they have. First up, you have standard glass lenses. Nothing fancy, but most scuba diving masks will have tempered glass lenses. And you can usually tell by a small little T or literally the word tempered somewhere on the sort of the uh, bottom corner or somewhere around the edge of the glass. And that just means that the glass itself is tempered, which makes it a bit safer. Now you can find some lenses or swimming goggles um, that have polymer or sort of a plastic lens. This is the, the cheaper alternative. We don't stock any of those on, uh, on Simply Scuba because they're, they're very delicate and because they're made out of plastic, a lot of them are also uh, sort of curved slightly. So you'll see a lot of swimming goggles, they'll have that kind of hydrodynamic curve. Unfortunately, as soon as you put a curve in something and then hold it against water, it basically becomes a magnifying lens. So it really distorts your vision. So if you're diving under the water for any length of time, you want the flat piece of glass uh, otherwise it's really going to do a number on your eyes. But as far as the glass itself, it's normally tempered glass and if you look at the uh, the edge of it, it often has a kind of green tint. If you've ever been to a furniture store and they have glass tables, you'll see along the edge it's got that uh, sort of green tint to it. Basic glass lenses, something that's long like the, uh, the Cressy F1 mask is just a, uh, a tempered glass, um, but that green is just imperfections in the glass and impurities, and, um, and that's going to distort the, um, what you see under the water ever so slightly. It won't be obnoxiously annoying, but there is an upgrade to just basic traditional glass. Something like the glass that's used on the Atomic Aquatics Frameless 2 mask. Now this has optical grade uh, tempered glass on it. So if you look at the very edge of the glass that's used on the Frameless 2 compared to the F2 on the Cressy mask, you'll notice that it has a much lighter color, doesn't have that green, it has an ever so slight blue tint to it. That's because they've removed a lot of the impurities and that's actually allowing a greater or truer amount of light transmission. So without those impurities, it's not affecting the colors of what you see under the water. So as far as as clarity and truer colors that's what optical grade glass is there for it's a it's a better experience it's not something it's not going to be a night and day a really obvious uh, sort of sudden upgrade but over time you will appreciate it and it is worth that uh, sort of little bit extra cro uh, cost as something a little bit different from just plain glass, you can get treated glass which has a, a color treatment to it. Something like the Aqualung Plasma AG has the amber glass version, the AG, and that has a couple benefits. And there are a few different options around that have slightly different benefits for you. So some of these will have a literal sort of rose tint to them or amber tint in this case, which when you get under the water, because the reds start to disappear as soon as you go under the water and everything ends up blue, this amber helps to amplify the reds that are still remaining and it just kind of boosts it a little bit. They can also have other benefits, so they can reduce uh, sort of glare on the surface, uh, which some of the other masks I'll, uh, or treatments I'll talk about later do a little bit better, but in this case it can actually help boost the contrast so things stand out a bit better. But the main reason for sort of tinted lenses, you often see reds just to bring those reds back, but you can find some other colors that do have some very unique features, but more often than not, it's gonna be some kind of red or rose, or in this case, amber tint. 
some masks can have a mirror tint to the outside. So these, uh, something like the Cressy Calibro mask that comes in a mirrored version. So these have a few different benefits and it kind of depends on the, the type of the mirror and the, uh, the, so the amount of mirroring effect. So something on the Calibro has quite a light mirror effect, which I prefer because if it's a full on mirror, it means that people can't see your eyes and that can be a little disconcerting, especially for students if they're dive instructor has a mirrored mask. If you can't see a diver's eyes, it's a little bit disconcerting. Um, but mirrored lenses, they can help and act a little bit like sunglasses. So they're quite good on the surface, especially in brighter environments, because you've got the sun bearing down on you and it's reflecting off all those little waves on the surface. It can be quite bright and intense for your eyes and that mirrored coating can help cut and reduce some of that light from getting into your mask. But when you're in the water, something shiny like that, it can attract certain marine life because they think it's quite interesting. Um, but as a general rule of thumb, if you're an instructor, I generally uh, sort of recommend going away from mirrored lenses just because your student really needs to be able to see your eyes. Um, but for everybody else, yeah, it's great for when you're on the surface and it helps to reduce a certain amount of that glare and um, it, it just makes it a bit easier to look around in very bright uh, environments. Calling all scuba divers want to stand out of the non-diving crowd? Do you want people to know that you're a scuba diver? Well then our very own spring store will help you out. We stock tees, stickers, hoodies, phone cases, even mugs that all have a scuba diving theme. From our super popular emotional bolt snap tee, our cave shark sticker to our scuba dude hoodie, we have something for everyone. And our range is becoming more eco-friendly each month thanks to Spring's eco-friendly range. Each order is printed fresh, which means less waste, less plastic, and it's better for the environment and also helps battle clothing waste as well. To view our full range, just click on the link pinned in the comments. And hey, why not treat yourself to 10% off your total order with the discount code DSN10. That's DSN10. Okay, back to the video. You can also find the complete opposite on something like the uh, Atomic Aquatics Venom Arc Mask. So the Arc Mask gets the ARC in its name from the anti-reflective coating. So this has two coatings, one on the inside, one on the outside, that actively help to reduce the reflectiveness of the glass. And what that basically means is that when light is coming into the mask, it's less likely to bounce off of it. So it's actually allowing a greater amount of light transmission. On the inside it also means that it's reducing that shadow the ghost of your eye it, sometimes when you're in the water and you'll turn and the light will just sort of hit your face just right and all you'll be able to see is the reflection of your own eye and face which can be a little bit weird but with anti-reflective coating it eliminates that so you might get a little bit of a sense of it but nowhere near as much as just a standard tempered glass lens the anti-reflective coating can also help to increase the contrast like the other lenses. So what you're seeing is a bit sharper and it's allowing that greater light transmission so it's a bit brighter and it's also increasing the, uh, the different wavelengths so the color as well is coming through a bit truer as well. So anti-reflective coatings are definitely a benefit to you because they're literally allowing more light to come in and that's exactly what you need from a mask. In very, very bright environments, you don't always want all that light coming through. You only want certain wavelengths of light. So just like polarized sunglasses or just protective eyewear, you can find UV treated lenses. Something like the Apex VX1 UV mask. It has a protective UV coating to it that actually eliminates specific wavelengths of light. More specifically, the dangerous UV, which can actually damage your eyes. So if you're walking around on the surface and you're wearing sunglasses to protect your eyes from those nasty UV rays, 
then these masks will be doing the same for you when you're in the water and especially on the surface. As I mentioned earlier, you're in that bright environment so the sun's beating down on you but it's also reflecting off the waves so it's important to keep your eyes safe because in the long run it can actually damage them. So you can find masks with UV treated lenses that specifically cut out specific harmful wavelengths of light but everything else remains much the same. So there are a whole bunch of different lens options for your mask. And then when you get onto prescription lenses, typically they're optical grade glass, but then they actually have your prescription uh, literally sort of cemented onto them. But as a general rule of thumb, for most of my diving, I tend to use just optical grade glass uh, just for that improved quality of what I'm sort of seeing in the water. Uh, but if I'm ever, if I was gonna be spending more time in glorious tropical countries or something, diving where there's lots of sun bearing down on me, I probably would switch to a UV cut or something that's uh, just sort of protecting my eyes a bit better if I'm spending a certain amount of time on the surface. But let us know what attracts you to different mask coatings, what one you ended up going with. I think a lot of divers just go with just a standard tempered glass lens, um, but as long as it's tempered glass, you should be relatively safe. A lot safer than a uh, sort of a polycarbonate, a plastic lens, um, but yeah if you think it's worth investing in any of these coatings let us know down in the comments below thank you for watching and of course safe diving yeah.